Okay, you may have heard of Jax, a new shop chain being started by Tesco's. It's basically Jax is Tesco's, it's just a kind of a slightly cheaper brand of theirs. They're building to take on Aldi and uh, Lidl and things like that. And of course, they failed to mention Amazon now sell food, Amazon Pantry. Uh, you have to be an Amazon Prime member in order to use Amazon Pantry, but um, you can now buy food and have it shipped to your door from Amazon. So anyway, Jax has been invented. The store opened on the 20th of September and I went on opening day. There's the address in Chatteris, Cambridgeshire. Now I'm just going to fill my receipt so you can see what I paid for stuff. This is for history. Everybody wants to know what the opening day prices were. Uh, most of the food has not been eaten yet, so I'm going to be able to show you most of the um, stuff. That straw hat red, that's wine. £3.50 for a bottle of wine. Okay, so the majority of this stuff... Oh, I quick, can't remember. It's right, most of that's blanked out. So I paid over 60 quid for stuff on opening day. There you can see at the bottom of the receipt, 20th of September, 3.10pm. So, Jack's boneless chicken, haven't had this yet. 32 pieces, yum yum yum, that could be nice. Uh, Jack's pepperoni pizza. 12 minutes to cook. I'm not going to film every part of it, but you get the idea. They brand everything Jack's. Nothing says Tesco's inside of a Jack's store. Jack's cheesecake. Best before July 2019. Right, let's come over here. Let's see what else we've got. So, Jack's Chocky Loops. So they've even got cereal. This is something more aimed at kids. This is for my niece and nephew. Let's check best before date, July 2019. Okay, that's good. Thanks, fajita kits. I like to cook a bit of Mexican every now and then. This is for eight tortillas, some seasoning, some salsa. Okay. I bought a few of these different packs. So, like I said, this is not just like a week, week shopping, what I'm going to eat in a week. I tend to buy stuff and use it over the course of a few few weeks this stuff will get used up Jack's Pure Set Honey that's before January 2020 I'm not going to film all the bottles so it'll take too long just, just film the products Jack's Clear Honey uh, Jack's Baked Beans now this is one of the bargains I spotted um, I, I believe I paid 90p for 4 tins of baked beans in this pack Yeah, it looks like, I'll check the receipt later, four 420 gram tins of baked beans for 90 pence. So, I'm not expecting these are going to be the best tasting baked beans ever, but at that price, I'll take it. I'll tell you the best baked beans to buy, buy these. These are not sold in Jacks, this is from somewhere else. Branston, I believe, I bought these on Amazon. Um, Branston and baked beans are the best. Anyway, 90 pence for 14 tins, can't go wrong. Uh, Jack's brown rice. So it's like one kilo of rice, that is January 2020. Where else did I get? Bolognese sauce. What's the jar size? 500 gram. So I've got, I got two of those. What's this? Jack's Distilled Vinegar. This is, um, I'm not even sure if I bought the right product. To make my own um, beetroot, you have to put me vinegar. I might just grab this off the shelf. I might have the wrong stuff. <laughs> anyway, right, let's show you some other stuff I bought. Um, some of this stuff is from another shop, so I've got to be careful. Right next to Jack's, there's a pound stretcher inside the same shop. Basically, Tesco. Bought a load of land, built a load of um, buildings for new Tesco stores, and then they ran out of money to actually carry on with the projects. Uh, but now they've decided to convert some of them to stores to Jack's. And like I said, the other half of the one in Chatteris is a pound structure, and they sell all these kind of things. So let's have a look. Uh, that's one pound structure. These are on sale in pound structure. It's a different package to the one I used to get. Rubicon Deluxe. They've changed the recipe of the normal Rubicon to having half the sugar and it tastes like crap. So hopefully this is like the original Rubicon and it was a quid, not 169. Right, more Jack's Rice. 
Jack's orange juice oh, with these terrible openings. I'll show you inside my house later. I bought an apple juice like this. What a crappy design these are. Um, what have we got? Jack's apple juice. One litre. So you get the idea. Instead of Tesco, it's now Jack's for these stores. Um, there's that wine I got. Straw hat. Never heard of it. But I just wanted a cheap bottle of red wine. 75 cents a litre. Um, what else have we got? Ooh. Jack's Bakewell Tarts. Yum, yum, yum. Six of those. We'll have them later. Uh, that was from Pound Stretcher. One pound for seven packets. Jack's Digestive Biscuits, so they've even got their own copy of Digestive Biscuits. Best before April 2019. 400 grams. You can compare what I've shown you to the receipt. Well, I'll film the receipt again at the end, right? Jack's Tortilla Wraps, eight Tortilla Wraps. Best before it's there. Okay. More baked beans. And these were from Pound Stretcher next door to. Uh, I can't remember how much I paid for. Those were something like a quid, so really cheap for this mango drink. Anyway, that's the majority of stuff I can show you. I'm now going to go inside my house to film the last couple of things. I'm still recording. Bear with me a couple of seconds and I'll go in my house to film the last few things. Now there's a couple of things to show you that I've just had to take out. Um, that was in my freezer, obviously. Beef lasagna, Jack's beef lasagna. 400 grams. This can be microwaved. It's just to show you the packaging. Jack's scotch eggs. These were in my fridge, obviously. Used by 25th September. Today is now... Uh, I have to look at the calendar. Today is the 24th September. These need to be used. Again, 24th September, Jack Sweet and Sour Chicken. I do like these kind of meals. You can put them bung in the microwave if you've been out all day. I haven't got to spend ages cooking. Jack's Macaroni Cheese. Who doesn't like macaroni cheese? Yum, yum, yum. Again, used by 25th September. And these were bought on the 20th September, remember. Uh, Jack's Grapes. These could have been not on my receipt because I took somebody else there, so they bought some stuff as well. Jack's Fajita Meal Kit, that's from a different shop, that's not from Jack's, just to show you that they do their own brand of stuff. And this is what I was going to show you, these Jack's Apple Juice, the, the drink itself was fine, the way to open it, you can barely see on the plastic that it says lift, I don't know if you can see that there, can you see that bit in there, lift? So you have to pull this tab up here and push to push through the, the cardboard in order to open it but it was it just it's impossible just just pushing on this you get to a certain stage and it will not force through anymore you, you can just feel that you're going to break this actual plastic tab so you end up having to shove your finger through there to force it to open you end up spilling some drink and then eventually you can get the drink out and it's still a bit dribbly so whoever designed these tabs on this these cartons should be shot this is a crappy design not impressed with that. Now there's still a couple of things to tell you. A couple of things I've bought from Jack's have been absolute rubbish. So you've seen the Scotch eggs, runner beans we've eaten, they were fine. 90B cheddar, that's probably gone. Um, baked beans, baked beans, you've seen all these. Reusable bag, well that's the reusable bag. 55 pence they charged me for that. They've got bags all over the shop, even 10p plastic bags you have to pay these days, and this was 55p so I can reuse it. Hopefully this will last for a bit. What's that say there? Tells you what you can use this bag for. Well, I'm just gonna use it for whatever, just for normal everyday shopping, okay? Let's get back to this, uh, where are we? Scampi, I haven't shown you, don't know where that is. Pizza you've seen, bolognese sauce you've seen, cheesecake you saw, breaded chicken you saw, Mini muffins, aha, uh -huh. pound fifty. These are pretty rubbish, actually. I've, I mean, I've eaten most of them, but not impressed. 
these, you know, these little mini muffins you get. Okay. Let me put the camcorder down so I can open it and show you. That's what they are. Fairly tasteless to be honest. They've got little chocolate chips in them. Don't know about the quality of the chocolate used and everything else. They're very soft and moist, but pretty tasteless. I wouldn't bother to buy those again. Not impressed with those. What else have we got to show you? Where did I get to? Mini muffins, orange juice you've seen, apple juice you've seen. So, uh, honey you saw. What's country cream? £3.85. Not sure what that is. Honey, nappy bags. Ah, Irish cream drinks. Ooh, I'll show you these. You usually buy Baileys, but Baileys is blooming expensive when it's not on sale at Christmas time. So I saw these drinks. They've got this one called Shannon's Irish Cream. 70 cents a litre. It's exactly the same colour bottle and shape as Bailey's. And you've got this O'Connor's one, Irish Country Cream. Again, 70 cents a litre. Uh, 14.5% alcohol on that. And what's the percentage of alcohol on this? 17%. Slightly more alcohol in the Shannon's one. Okay, so that's those. Yum, yum, yum. Let's check the prices. Irish cream, so the one with more alcohol is £7. The other ones are £3.85. And at the moment, if you were to buy ba Baileys, is more like £10, £12 for a small bottle and even more, getting on 20 quid for a bigger bottle. So, now what else was there? There was something else. Oh, not on my receipt. The person I went with who bought some 10, 10 Jack's fish cakes. And they were quite cheap. I don't know how much they were, two, three pounds, but they were rubbish. I, I, you couldn't say that they had fish in them, even though they were called fish cakes. They were pretty tasteless. Um, so quality of some of the Jack stuff so far has not been good. Potato fish cakes were rubbish. Um, openings on some of the Jack's products are rubbish. What, let's have a quick, while I'm doing this, let's go through. So runner beans were fine. Haven't tried the baked beans yet. Haven't tried the cereal yet. Haven't tried the rice yet. Haven't tried most of this stuff, to be perfectly honest. It's just to show you prices. Um, cherry baked... Well, as I said, the, the mini muffins, £1.50 for 16 They're rubbish. And the majority of stuff I haven't actually tried yet. So... Oh, the Irish cream. We've opened one of the cheaper bottles, the 385, to put into coffee. And so far it's fine. It does taste like Bailey's if you have it on its own. Um, when you put it in coffee, it doesn't taste as good as Bailey's. It's not as good as Bailey's, but then again, at that price, you can't really complain. So there you go. Jack's, the new Tesco stores being built to take on Aldi and Lidl eating into Tesco's market share. And don't forget, Amazon now sell food as well. So Amazon Pantry... Have a look for that. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you're allowed to use Amazon Pantry. I've used it quite a few times, and obviously they'll, they'll, they can send you nothing nothing frozen, but um, and nothing fresh. You're not going to get grapes or fruit or anything on Amazon. But anything else that is, you know, dry goods, dry food goods, they can post to you. So check the price, compare prices. What I would do is write a, write a list and write down prices. So baked beans, 90p for four from Jack's, and then next to it, do a column for Tesco's, next to column for Sainsbury's, blah, blah, and compare prices, and then you'll know where to shop. Anyway, I hope, hope this is of use to somebody, this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.